I despise databases. That was until one day I came across the Google Data Analytics certification and my entire life changed. And in this video, I'm going to go over why the Google Data Analytics certification changed my perception and my view on databases. I actually went through the course material and I'm about 90% done. And hopefully by the time this posts, I'll be 100% done. I needed to learn database skills for my cybersecurity job. So I needed to do some spreadsheet work and I needed to correlate and do some analysis on all of these logs that I had. And so I saw the Google Data Analytics certification and I was like, I'm going to take that and after I'm done, I'm going to write a review. That's what this is all about. And in this review of the data analytics certification made by Google, presented by Coursera, I will be going over the course content, cost of the program, tips on how to complete the Google data analytics course, because honestly, most of you who start will not finish. My favorite things and my key takeaways, my least favorite things of the Google data analytics certification. Will the Google data analytics certification replace a four year degree? Will it help you get a job? Most important, why learn all of this stuff if you're not gonna be able to get a job? And also stay to the end of the video and I'll go over on how to frame this from Google on how to put the Google data analytics certification on your resume. If you are Art on a time crunch, the Google Data Analytics certification is worth your time and money. I have a link below if you wanna go check that out. Just go now and start on the Google Data Analytics certification. Stop watching this video and go now. Let's get into the Google Data Analytics certification review by starting with the course content and the course content quality. Now, a lot of other videos have gone over the course content, so I'm gonna keep this very brief. It's basically eight different courses and each one of these courses are broken up into various weeks. You're going to have a foundation of data and this just introduces you to databases. And then the second course, you're going to learn about asking questions to make the right data decisions. Third one, you're going to prepare data expression, which is extremely important, especially if you are a beginner, as this is most likely what your job is going to be. And then you're going to process the data dirty to clean. So you're going to learn about why it's so important to have clean data and also how to clean your data. Then you're going to analyze your data to answer your questions. And then you're going to learn about how to share your data through visualization, which I found extremely interesting. And then after that, you're gonna get into some R programming, which I had never even heard of before I took this course. And it was a tough one. That was the hardest section out of all of this. And then after you learn R programming, you're going to do a case study, which is super beneficial if you're trying to create a portfolio to apply for jobs. The course quality is stellar. The sound is good. There's a diversity in instructors. There's discussions. You have Q and A's during the videos. Honestly, cannot say anything wrong with the course content. It's, it's like everything a course should be. And I've taken courses at community colleges before. And I've taken courses on other platforms but none comes to the course quality of the Google Data Analytics certification. Everything is just perfect. You know, it's Google. And some of the skills you'll learn for the Google Data Analytics certification is you're going to learn how to think about databases. And this was the most important part to me was it changed the way that I thought about making decisions in my own personal life, how I even ask questions. I ask more open-ended questions instead of a yes or no question. And I also take in consideration how the questions I ask myself affect my everyday life. And that right there is, is gold. And then I also learned about spreadsheets some SQL R programming visualization using some of the most common programs. And these are all skills that will get you a data entry level job. It also teaches you how to set up your own portfolio at the end of the capstone and how to present yourself. And also throughout the entire course, there are career tips that really even helped me. Like, look at this email template and I use this at work and it just transformed my emails. So right here is how you make the perfect email. It also gives you tips on interviews and exactly how you should present yourself 
to a future employer. And these are invaluable skills and I learned things after eight years that I had no idea about. Some tips on completing the Google Data Analytics certification are very important because most of you who start this program aren't going to complete it. So here are some tips. Number one, you want to set a deadline of when you want to finish this. You don't want to leave it open-ended. So Google says six months. So six months might be a little bit too long to lose your motivation. I personally did it in two months. You, maybe you could do it in three months. It doesn't necessarily have to take you the full six months. You can go a little bit faster. Number two, you really want to make a commitment. It's easy to make commitments and not keep them, but that kind of slowly erodes your self-esteem. And one day you're going to wake up and be like, what have I done with my life? So make sure if you're going to make a commitment that you keep it and you actually follow through for yourself. Also, don't have any doubt. If you really want a data analyst position and role, know that you can have it and don't let it discourage you. Isn't that serpent that comes into your life and is like, there's no point of doing this. It's not working. It happens to me when I go to the gym, I'm like, I'm not seeing any progress after a month. It takes time and it's a gradual process and you won't see it until at least like three, four months. You'll be like, wow, I've learned so much. Honestly, I think you can do it in three months, but I don't know your schedule. So it could take longer, not 100% sure on what time you're working with. So that being said, that goes into how much does the Google Data Analytics certification cost? And that will depend on how long it takes. It would take three months to do. So that means at $40 a month, that will be $120. And that is definitely worth the money. If it takes you the full six months, that will be $240. And even at $240, this course is a steal. That's cheaper than most community colleges. And this course is way better than any intro to database course that you can take at a community college. And I know because I've taken courses at community college for databases, and let me tell you, it could use some improvements. <laughs> and once you do complete it, you get access to the course material forever, and you don't have to pay anymore. So that alone right there is worth it. And you can always go back and reference things and whatnot. Some of my favorite things of the data Google Analytics certification, it just gave me a different perspective on number one, how I think. So more structured thinking. I realize sometimes I just chase squirrels or I don't ask the right questions or I make terrible decisions in my everyday life. And it really just made me become more aware of it. It helped me make better data driven decisions in my everyday life. It actually piqued my interest in how databases can change the way I view the world. And that is better than any technical knowledge you will want because technical knowledge will always be changing, but the way you think about something, your perspective on something is what really matters because that's how you view the entire world. And this course changed my perspective. <laughs> that sounds a little bit intense, but it really did. Not only does it give you the technical knowledge, so it gives you the theory, but it also quizzes you on the knowledge. And then it also has you go through different exercises to actually apply the knowledge all at once. The way they did this course is how all courses in tech should be, in my opinion. It's a really good model because you need the foundational theory knowledge, which they give you. You need to memorize that and then you need to practice it to solidify it. Also, the, the material is extremely up to date because it just came out in 2021. Everything is very applicable and you really don't have to wonder if it's outdated or it needs to be refreshed because it just came out. Third pro is it really started slow. It didn't just bombard you with a whole bunch of technical data, it gave you an introduction and then it slowly got into like the more technical things such as our programming. And that was very good. And also the instructors are all very diverse. Every color and every gender was represented in this course, which I thought was very cool. My other pro was that it gives you operational knowledge also. So how do you write an email? How do you frame things on your resume? How do you create a portfolio that you can show your future employer? 
some cons of the Google Data Analytics certification is that it was very Google oriented. So it, it, I didn't see any Microsoft SQL and that's a huge player. So if you're looking to get an introduction to that, I would go take a different course on that. This is not the one for that. And also it didn't touch on Python. It used our programming and Python is extremely common. My third con for the Google Data Analytics certification is that it doesn't replace a four year degree at large bureaucratic companies that don't know anything about the certification or Coursera. And that means like the government in the state and they're not going to recognize this cert as a replacement for a four year degree. It's not gonna knock off experience like a degree will. Will the Google Data Analytics certification replace a degree? And that answer is depends on the company. If you're going for government, absolutely not. This cert will not replace a degree. If you're going to go work for a smaller company who values skills over certs and degrees, then yes. And there are a lot of them that do value skills over degrees. However, larger, more bureaucratic organizations will not accept this cert instead of a degree. Which goes into my next point, will the Coursera Google Data Analytics certification get you a job? And the answer is absolutely yes. They give you a foundation, they give you how to clean data, uh, they give you how to organize data, and if you go through and you actually do all of these exercises and don't skip it and you do all the discussions, you do all the quizzes, you do the capstone, beyond and above to do this course material, then you will be successful and you will get a job. Trust me on that, really good material. And remember, this is an entry level job, so you're going to be doing a lot of the menial work in a way. You're probably not gonna be doing any hardcore data analysis that the company is going to use to change their strategy. You're probably going to be cleaning data for one of the data scientists, to be honest. So you just need to get a job as quickly as possible and get that experience as quickly as possible. And this certification will definitely help you do that. And you're going to need to have about six months of experience. You're going to need to know SQL and it says college degree graduates are perfect for this and the Google Data Analytics certification definitely gives you these required skills. And if we look at the salary, the entry level salary for data analysts is 40 to 54 thousand dollars and this is in Pennsylvania which is a pretty low cost living. So in other areas this starting salary might be higher. So take that into consideration. How do you frame this on your resume? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a certification place and then I'm going to put how you should frame it right here. And this is coming from Google. I'm not going to read it to you, but right here, this is how you frame it. And that concludes my, my Google Data Analytics certification review. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe because this channel is all about helping you upskill and get a job in tech. And I will see you again, hopefully. Bye.